What is up everybody, Hungry Cabion here. This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. They are sponsoring us. Um, they've also given me a nice little uh, promo code. So if I want to add these to my shopping cart, yes, I want 50 Darkness Ablaze packs, please. Oh, look at that, I already have 50 in there. And I've already applied my, uh, <laughs> my uh, coupon code, Cabion5, to get 5% off. So if you're interested in codes, please check them out and tell them I sent you. What is up everybody, Hungry Cabigon here. I'm gonna open this second mystery cube that I got. Um, I was extremely happy with the first one, to be honest, like it was really, really good. They have like a lot which just have modern cards in there, so you get like Vs and uh, GXs and stuff, but um, nothing really like super crazy that we haven't seen before. This is a bit more my speed. It's got like an, a cool old school, uh, what is it, black and white nine, Verizian full art, which is pretty cool. At that time, you only had 20 pack boxes, but you were not guaranteed to get like full arts in a box. So that's nice. And it's got a uh, black and white dark eye with night spear on the back. Pretty good, honestly, for five bucks. So I'm gonna carefully open this one Hopefully it opens easily like the previous one did. Because I'm a bit more scared to like just cut into this. I do have some scissors, but I'm hoping that we can get away with not using them just because I don't want to risk damaging anything. I mean, there's not going to be like, you know, anything too crazy value-wise in here, but I still want to keep them in good condition because they're not like everyday cards that are so easy to come across. So I want to try and be a bit more careful. I don't want to damage anything if I can help it. I'm like picking at it like this. I don't really like to do, but we got to get into it somehow. I just wish that they would just like gently seal it with like a flap. So it was just easy to open. All right, I think we're pretty much got it though. See, this part is what I don't like the edge because corners are the easiest part to, to damage. Ah, okay, all right, that's good. Why so much tape? It's like they don't want me to open it seriously. I feel like if they weren't damaged already, this is the time when they're gonna get more damage potentially when you're trying to open like this. All right, I'm gonna very carefully use some scissors. Uh, Carefully. Should allow us to open it up. Okay, I'm hoping it will just slide out. Okay, good, good, good. Let's take our Verizian out. Let's take our Dark Ray off. Let's have a look at these. He looks pretty good. No obvious signs of damage. Uh, the corner is a little bit bent, but overall quite good. I don't believe I have this Verizian. And I really like these EX like era cards, like definitely when it went to the sun and moon, they got a bit more boring. These ones definitely look nicer. They have gone kind of more back to this style now, which is good. And uh, we have this nice dark rye. Dark rye is always popular as well. It's the black and white one, not the XY one. I saw a bit of a scratch on the back. It's not perfect, but quite nice. And first edition is always good. Very nice. All right, let's have a look a bit deeper into the cube. These cards look newer. This might be some bulk. All right, we've got some energies. It's got a kind of mean printing line. You can kind of see that. All right, so that's just gonna be energy. It's okay. What about these ones? Ooh, different energies. Okay, we've got lots of energies. It's kind of to be expected that there'll be some uh, not so good stuff. All right, let's have a look at these ones. All right, I could see there was a lot of uh, shiny stuff. If you see the side, like that should all be 
hollows, I guess. Alright. So these are all black and white error. As I said before, these are kind of polarizing. Some people like them, some people don't. Seeing uh, all different ones so far, which is nice. Ah. Why did I say that? Why did, why did I say that? That was foolish. Okay. <laughs> and now we're going to get a bunch. Ooh, alright, we got Kurum. I mean, these... Yeah, I mean, they look fine. Someone's obviously come in and just sold them a bunch of, like, black and white cards in the shop. Hexers. Alright, we got Terrakion. Alright. What else have we got here? Oh, we got another Curum. A reverse one. That's cool. I like the look of that, actually. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I like these reverse ones. So we got two Kyrams. That one's flying over a bridge. The other one's just chilling. Alright, we got Chandelure. You can go on top of the energy cards. Alright, let's dig through the rest of this stack. Oh! Articuno. A kind of like not so cool looking uh, 3D rendered one. But still, it's Articuno. Okay. And another one. Okay, and uh, alright, let's put the curums together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So many Articunos. Alright, that's a popular one. Okay. Alright, we got, what's that? Samurott. A couple, ooh. I always forget which one's which with these, um, these guys. Alright, and we got Gotharita. Oh, Zekrom. I think we got this Zekrom. No, we got a different Zekrom in the other one. Two. One is. The, one looks fine. And then the other one looks really damaged. So I'm not sure if it can focus. I'm not sure. What's the story with that one card? Alright, Drillba, 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 Drillba. Alright. That was very good as well. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff. I, I think the Verizian is definitely the nicest. But, I mean, we got six nice Articunos. We got a couple of Kurums. We got a few other legendaries. I like that Zekrom. I do, I'm do. i pretty sure I do have a couple of them already. But really, really nice overall for $5. And yeah, they pad it with energy in the middle. But... I don't care, like, that is a good haul for $5, and I would definitely prefer something like this as opposed to just getting some random new hollows from, like, new sets, or kind of, like, just average Vs and GXs and stuff, which I have a million of, and they're not really particularly, like, desirable ones or anything. This is a bit more my speed, because not always, like, the easiest cards to, to just go and find, um, especially in good condition, like, which most of these are. And, you know, black and white is not the most popular sets, but it's going to come around. Like, it's going to have its time. It's kind of like that middle tier. It's not like super old. Um, it's kind of, you know, 10 to... When, when do they even start? Like, you know, 10-ish, less than 10 years old. So it's not kind of in that really old stage yet, but it's kind of middling where it's still really cheap at the moment. Uh, but you got to figure, like, the interest is going to increase in it when people realize, like, hey, there's some cool stuff here and it's not that expensive. So, really happy with that one as well. They were both really good. I think 10 bucks for the both of them, very well spent. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. I will keep my eyes open for any more cool ones that they have. Uh, the rest are kind of generic ones, like I said, nothing that exciting, but I had to get these two. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open. So, like I said, let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.